Let's take a look at Plesk for the iPhone, which does pretty much what Plesk for the desktop does, only via mobile. So here we have Plesk on the desktop. We're going to take a look at some video plugins. Let's look at Vimeo, Staff Picks, and the Takeoff video. This is Takeoff from the plane's perspective. Okay, so you get the idea. Let's do the same thing on the iPhone. Click Video Plugins under Home, choose Vimeo in this case, and there's staff picks just like it was on the desktop. Awesome. So that's going to load, and then we have the same videos. Take off. Let's get that into widescreen view. And it can take a little while to load because it's on a phone. There we go. Oop. Let's try that again. Much better. So, just like any video, you can zoom in and you can also scrub, which takes a little bit of time to catch up, but nonetheless, it's available. There we are. So that's neat. Let's take a look at playing your videos. Here we are back on the desktop, going into movies. We've got lots of sorting options here, as you can see. Going to all movies, and you can see a big list, like actor commits suicide on YouTube. That's not exactly the right data. And there are a couple of other things, like Blade um, and this French movie that are not actually in my library and are just getting named incorrectly. But for the most part, Plex did a pretty good job of identifying the clips I had. We're going to take a quick look at Logorama. There it is, playing back nicely. Now let's see about doing that on the iPhone. Now because I have this hooked up to my main machine, I can go browse through my movies just like I did on the Vimeo video plugin. There we have Logorama. Now in theory this is supposed to start off where I left off on my other machine, but for some reason it's not. Either way, quick playback and it's coming directly from my computer. So that's basically how video works. But what about your other media? Let's check out music. Here's all my music that is in iTunes. And let's try the Bad Plus, Album Give, and 1979 semifinalist. So you get the album art and some basic playback controls and that's all there is to it. So how do you get this all set up on the iPhone? You click on settings and you find a media server that's on your local network. Alternatively, you can enter in a remote IP address. You have to set up port forwarding on your own, but you can see there are a lot of settings for video quality, whether you're local or remote. And that's all you have to do to get Plesk working on your iPhone.